one. Bruce Ryan Alds was making contact on the fullback and the play fake fooled him. He followed the fullback, gave up on him, came out on the quarterback, and the fullback continued for another yard or so on up the field. We jumped Sellers out of there and we got Rose and Greer in there as we take our linebackers out and they run it dive and they run it up in the middle and O'Donnell you got to the 39 and got close to a first he's about two yards short they're just running a straight dive all knocked him down as he was down under the pile there Brian Alls only a sophomore playing this tackle on this side and there's a timeout I think on the field let's check the timeout 430 to go in a half. Wing right, wing left. One in the right goes in motion. We hit him. He knocked him down on a 40. Somebody stuck him tough there, Kevin Hasty. And he got to the 40. They're going to be fourth down. They got to go to the 41 and a half. They need a yard and a half. Let's see if they go for it. And I think they are sending in the punt team. I'm not sure, but I believe they are. They need a yard and a half. And they're fourth down. Watch the fate, people. That is Justin Shuto, number 16, the punter. But uh, we've got to be careful and don't, don't overload. Snap. Here comes Cantrell trying to block it. The punt's away and a little hit and it'll roll and it'll roll all the way to the 17-yard line. Come to a halt there. Terry, what do you got? Bruce, from their 45, they down it at Lebanon and 17. That's 38 yards on the punt. That's where Lebanon to take over first down. This so. reminder, folks, you're listening to this replay on KM Country, WJKM 1090 Hartsville, Lebanon, and you're watching this replay on Lebanon Cable Vision 3. We're going to guess at four minutes, 14 to 3 Lebanon. We got off to a slow, staggering start. We're deep in our territory on the 17. Let's see if we try to take it down the field. We are checking off, I think, at the line. Triplet fumbled the ball, picked it up, and sprinted out to the right, and then cut it in and got knocked down. He might have got back to the line of scrimmage. I think we were checking off at the line. Triplet dropped the snap, picked it up, and maybe got a yard to the 18. Well, they're going to spot it on the 18, give him a yard, second and nine. And I guess we're around the three and a half minute mark and a half. 14 to three, Lebanon leads. We haven't played all that well. Out of the huddle, Workman's the center up over the ball. Mo Thompson over there, man-to-man -man coverage. Down that sideline would be long. Back to pass, triplet, draw play up the middle. And they knock us down on about the 22, and that was Moss. And Lebanon wants a timeout. There's a timeout on the field. Or check it, Hendersonville wants a timeout. Timeout on the field, Lebanon 14 and Hendersonville 3. Parker. We are at First Bank and Trust with Ron Wright to make a small presentation. On behalf of the Blue Devil Booster Club, LFS cheerleaders, coaches, players, and fans, we would like to say thank you for your support and also to present to you a stadium souvenir cushion as a token of our appreciation. Thank you very much. Thank we you. appreciate that. Have a good season. Back at Lebanon High School, Hendersonville took the time out as they want to try to stop them here third down and about six and get the football and try to put something on the board before the half. Lebanon comes out and that flex offense split in left tight end is split to the right flankers wide to the right back to pass tripped it going deep for Mo Thompson there he is he caught it 50 45 and then he went out of wait a minute he called that incomplete and I cannot see it at all over there he caught it but it's incomplete. Well, the referee was late, Tommy, getting down there. That's the only problem I have with that. But he was running about 20 yards behind Mo, but he called him out of bounds. But who can we say? Because it's way across the field. It's as far away from us as you can get. Bo Grissom goes in to punt for the Blue Devils. Out comes Tressler. So Bo Grissom will punt for Lebanon. Here as we're late in the first half, Lebanon going from that tight punt formation. 
They've got a 10-man front trying to now they back a couple out and we punt it. Tressler kicks it up in the air. Fair catch call for and he dropped it and letting it fell on it on the 48. He called for a fair catch and he dropped it on the 48. Check it. Who got it? Hendersonville got that thing back. You're kidding me. One of the Lebanon was all over it, and how did they get it? Henderson feels somehow, I don't know how, they got it on the 49. Mike Gibson somehow managed to out-wrestle four different Blue Devils for that football. Terry, what about the yardage on that kick? Tommy, 31 yards on the punt. The Hendersonville fumbles on their 47. They actually fumble it forward for two yards. That's where they'll take over on their own 49. We had four or five people look like fell on the ball and Hendersonville came out with it. Motion, take it, pass, looking wide open, incomplete. They were trying to hit a man and he was not looking on the 46. That's that number one kid again. And we don't know his name. We're guessing at it, Tommy We is. assume that's Dustin Lane, their senior running back, but John's gonna check that for us at halftime. Lebanon with four defensive backs in the game, and we drop Moscadelli off in the coverage. Kind of a nickel look for this defense. See if we see if we go to that set again with four linemen and Moscadelli dropped off. Arnell's the quarterback. Double wing split in right. He's trying to get the man now. He's going back to the wing, just a regular wing. Takes it, runs a fake, hot pass, caught. 45 getting close to the 40 knocked out of bounds he's close to a first down and he got out of bounds and the clock is stopped john you got any time on us down there we're going to guess at about one minute just under one minute th at this point back up to you all right balls on the 41 and that's very close to a first down they probably need a half a yard from here Third down and a half. He went out of bounds, so the clock is not only stopped on the scoreboard, it's stopped everywhere. Motion, take it, looking for a hot pass, throws it, dropped. Down on the 33 or 34. That's the second time he's dropped that pass. And he gets up in disgust. And folks, that was Ron C. who came up and put the hammer on Adam Cripps of Hendersonville. Ron C. wearing number six tonight, just had a shot at him, and he goes right in the rib cage. Cripps cannot hang on, and it's an incomplete pass, fourth down for Hendersonville. 14 to three, Hendersonville will go for it. We're saying somewhere around a minute to go in a half. Ledman gonna jam him up in there, and they take it, and they run it, and we hit him, and I don't know. We're probably got it. I think he barely got it. He had to get to the 41, and I think he got close to the 40, and they're trying to stop the clock, and it's already stopped. John, you take the measurement, and if you can get us a, uh, a time reference, go ahead and see what you can find out. Change will come out here, I believe. Is there somebody down on the field, or are they just putting the ball? There's somebody hurt for Hendersonville. Tommy got a Hendersonville guy down on the field, and I think they're going to bring the chains out as soon as they can get him up and out of the way. But looks like it's going to be short, though, from my vantage point here, but you never can tell until they get the chains out. And, John, you got anything on the clock? <laughs> the chains will be reset, and the clock will start as soon as they get to the line. Lebanon leads 14 to 3. Hendersonville would love to put a score up there. The clock starts on the field. Man in motion, take it back to pass, looking deep over the middle. Got a man, intercepted, incomplete, and then intercepted and dropped. Well, we had Rose to intercept it almost. Then the Hendersonville man had it, and he dropped it. And then along came Sellers, and he couldn't hang on to it. Incomplete. So the tip drill does not work as uh, Lebanon had a couple of defensive players get their hands on the football. John Bryson comes in at a defensive tackle for Lebanon as we are certainly under a minute in this first half. Tommy, we're not putting a whole lot of pressure on the quarterback. He's had a lot of time, and I'm sure that's from that wing tee. It's hard to shoot him in there. Back to pass. Got, here comes Cantrell. There's a pass. 
incomplete. Had a man open maybe down on about the 21. And Cantor was coming late and hit him. Incomplete third down and 10 on the 41. Bruce, you talked about getting pressure on the quarterback. It's sometimes with that wing tee, you've got to honor all those play fakes, and everything starts with either a, a fake to that fullback or then you fake the, the handoff to the wing back coming around, and the lineman cannot just go crazy and go after that quarterback. They've got to play a little safe and work through the football. Third and 10, Hendersonville. Arnell's the quarterback, takes it, runs that sweep around the right and he cuts it in and he got knocked down on the 37 it's fourth down in the clock i don't know clock's probably what do you got john bruce we're looking at about 32 seconds 32 seconds to go in the half 32 seconds and the clock is running he didn't get out of bounds i don't think or did he he may have i think it's a dead ball he didn't start the clock they're going to try a 55-yard field goal, 56-yard field goal. And wait a minute. Referee step in, and is that the half? Yes. The half is over. They didn't get to attempt the field goal. They had a timeout, I think. They didn't choose to take it. It was going to be a 55-yard field goal. That's the end of the first half. The score, Lebanon 14, Hendersonville 3. 